Nairobi? No. This is Amsterdam. Welcome to Amsterdam Central Station. And someone photobombing my documentation. It's a totally different vibe over here. So here we are now in a typical red light district. I don't know if I have an opinion on what this oh, oh, the bicycles are <laughs> With the bicycles here you have to be careful there. Follow me on my journey living outside the box. What is up guys? Welcome to a new episode of Travelness. Today we are here in Amsterdam. I just got off the plane and I have a connecting flight in the evening. Two friends are here, so we want to spend a nice nice day here in Amsterdam. And you stay tuned. Let's see what we find over here. Um, yeah, I made it now from Nairobi to Amsterdam on my yeah, nine hours direct flight. Uh, yeah, now I have 14 hours in Amsterdam in theory before I fly to Bremen, Germany. I was thinking about two options. The first option was that I'm gonna get my luggage, take a train from Amsterdam home, and that's it. Or yeah, I spent the day in Amsterdam and still fly in the evening to Bremen. Yeah, now I don't know, but you will find out. Yeah, my friends will arrive in um, around 30 minutes or something here. I got me coffee, but uh, it's also necessary with this degrees here. It's crazy. Yeah, now I'm gonna uh, search me a place uh, to chill and wait for my friends, and then we're gonna try to find out if we can uh, find another solution because of my luggage. Just to get a glimpse how cold it is. Schiphol Amsterdam Airport. And what I just realized, yeah, at least it's warmer than it was when I was sleeping there. Let's see if I can solve this problem. All right, guys, I'm uh, sitting now in the car. My friends picked me luckily up. Hey, guys. Hello, Christoph and Alex. I could not solve the problem, KLM, uh, if I would be a bit more famous, I would sh start a shitstorm now because yeah, I could not get my luggage, they told me I have to pay 250 euro if I want my luggage on my 14 hours here in, in Amsterdam so yeah, the only possibility probably which I can do is spend an awesome day with my friends here Stay tuned Like I said, I have uh, yeah, now 9 hours left to enjoy the day today I bought a Dages tour, it means a day tour ticket. Right, I can go from here to the central and back, like a round day ticket. And I paid 6 euros, what is approximately $6.50 at the moment, I would say. Yeah, welcome to Europe prices. Amsterdam Central Station, Christmas time, Christmas tree. Everyone is happy, cool. everyone has positive energy. Yeah. Now we're gonna have some breakfast, some coffee, I would say. And have some tourist, tourist, how do we say? Day trip. Today we're gonna have a day trip in Amsterdam. So let's see what we're gonna see. Check this out, guys. That is proper European bakery. I cannot choose. Everything between 50 euro cent and 1 euro 20. And someone photobombing my, <laughs> my, my documentation. What are you gonna take, mate? What do you want? I'm not too sure, it's too much good, good stuff. Pesto Focaccia. Pesto Focaccia. I don't know. The wildlife is better in Kenya, but the bakery is better in Europe. I take I take a show croissant. Okay, what else? A croissant is enough. Pretty much in the 
center now. A bit of sightseeing. It's totally different than, than Kenya for sure. It's much colder. It's, uh, it's pretty busy and in, in, in a different kind of busy. It's not, it's not so, uh, yeah. I don't know, it's northern, northern Europe. People are more straight here and they are more busy with themselves and doing, doing their thing. It's a totally different vibe over here. And you see a lot of Christmas decoration here in, uh, in northern Europe slash Amsterdam. Yeah, we want to go to the red light district now and check that out. And after that, after that we decided to walk the channels. Yeah, see a bit the channels on this there. You see a tram, a train, city train, and in the back it must be the king's palace. So for the people who don't know, Holland so has a has a queen. I'm not sure or a king, but it's a monarchy and uh, yeah, but still ruled by by a parliament. So not not full on monarchy. to show you quick that's how a typical small um, LA looks like in Holland Amsterdam and yeah also typical yes they have a lot of electrical vehicles uh, scooters bicycles or even small city cars like this yeah, they are very uh, efficient and eco and liberal a lot of stereotypes are fulfilled for sure here in, uh, in Amsterdam Oh, look, there's nice views in every corner. That's what I like about European cities. Around every corner, something beautiful could appear. So here we are now in a typical red light district. LA. We have a lot of windows to the left and right, which are now closed because it's a bit early. And as I believe, behind these windows, there would be women or yeah, prostitutes standing and offering their services and when i am not wrong then it's the end of the alley and here we have a so-called gracht the channels of amsterdam How beautiful is this? I'm not able to to ice skate to ice skate on this uh, on this channels this winter or yeah maybe I come back in a few weeks when it's frozen. Uh, new signs in Amsterdam. The last time I was here, I was not seeing those signs. Oh yeah, that 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 sign makes sense because you have not so much nature here and it's gonna be. Stinking a lot if everyone would pee here in the bushes, uh, in the bushes, in the stones. Oh, no picture is allowed. I, can, I cannot film. That's white life in Amsterdam. Well, not just bright life here. Also here you have rubbish. Animals eating, eating the rubbish. Some typical Dutch fries with the best mayonnaise you will have. Food review. Mm. How much was this portion now? Medium. What did you pay? Five euros. Five euros? So yeah, five five fifty US dollars. Five fifty, yeah. Uh, Typical Dutch snack stand. How does it taste? You like it? Excuse me, sir. I like it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and we have also a lot of multiculture in, in Europe, in Holland, in Germany especially. They have a lot of Turkish and Arabic restaurants. And uh, I just bought a bit expensive for five euro. So $5.50 US dollar and um, 
sujuk, so-called sujuk cheese uh, sandwich. It's very tasty, one of my favorite uh, snacks. One thing which I've missed traveling three months through Kenya. Eh? Sorry, I'm searching for 7A. 7A, the line. You go down, and you go down left. More to the left, yeah? Okay, thank you. Okay, you go down, huh? down, and then more to the left. Because here's one, two, yeah. Yeah, 7A. Here we are. Yeah, we are now on the way to the to the hotel because yeah, my friends they booked a hotel for this night because they anyway wanted to meet someone here. We figure out what we're gonna do. Now it's around three o'clock, two hours it might be dark, it's cold. So yeah, we decided it's enough tourist uh, day walks in the town and now we're gonna go to the hotel. Let's check that out. I would say that's a surprise, guys. Eh? Yeah. Double room, it's $100 per night. I would say that's payable. So you check in here, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> here, pass it. It's your car. Finding the rooms. Eight what? Eight six eight? No. Eight two nine. Eight two nine. Yeah, eight two nine. Yeah, a nice cute room. What a view. Concrete jungle, Europe. So we are here now in the Redison Park Inn Hotel in Amsterdam. Either I'm gonna sleep here, we're gonna go out for a party, or I'm gonna have an other adventure tonight and I have to fly again and get home somehow. Let's see what will happen today. What is up guys? So I decided to skip the flight. So I'm not here with the two friends who picked me up and another friend which they know who's living here in Amsterdam. And yeah, we are now. It's six o'clock in the evening. We're chilling a bit in the hotel. And now we decided to explore the city with him and do some cool stuff. Uh, yeah, the next destination is for audio, visual, uh, experience exhibition. Uh, yeah, we're gonna check this out. Uh, yeah, after that, we're gonna be spontaneous and see what comes. Yeah, we're entering now the audiovisual show. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna talk inside. I'm just gonna. Film. Well, this is PlayStation. This is a PlayStation symbol, I don't know what this is. looking like, eh? Yeah, you can play here. Uh, so fun. Okay, in the comments, what do you think about this, guys? I don't know if I have an opinion about this. If you really concentrate on the picture and you let it affect you, then it's crazy. Like you get into a hole, you know? But if you just watch it casually, then it's just weird. That looks actually a bit more cool. Check this out. Not 
So this was it with this audio visual show in uh, the next museum in Amsterdam. It was a cool spontaneous interesting outside the box thing. So uh, now it's getting late here. I don't know what, what time exactly it is. 20 to 8. Uh, yeah, we caught an Uber to get here. I guess we're gonna catch an Uber again to get in the central and eat something and walk around a bit. I'm getting slowly more and more tired. I don't know what's, what we're gonna do the rest of this night. But yeah, you guys can stay tuned. Amsterdam. Where are you from? I'm from Suriname. Suriname? Yeah. Ah, okay. You have both passports? Yeah. yeah. Uh, South America, eh? Yeah. Uh, I was now in Kenya. I lived three months in Kenya. I came yesterday. Oh, yeah, Kenya. It's uh, East Africa, yeah? It's a beautiful day, yeah? Yeah, very nice, man. Yeah, very nice. Safari. Jira, flying, hyena. Yeah, yeah, it's safari, crazy, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, I love it. Light. Lights are nice and there are houseboats, eh? it's also very charming eh? with a houseboat in the rivers of Amsterdam. <laughs> a lot of lights. Eh? Yeah, I think now also the Amsterdam Light Festival is going on. Ah, okay. okay. That was the one you saw on the, the structure ah. on the water. Nice, then we saw this also. Yeah, yeah. So we saw the Today Amsterdam Light what? Festival. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That like was it. For a couple of weeks, I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Amsterdam is a bit different. Eh? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's pretty cool actually. Is Amsterdam at the night safe? Yeah, it's very safe. Very safe? Yeah. Everywhere you go, you see bullies. Yeah, it is. Uh, have a good one, eh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it was a nice uh, Uber driver from Suriname. <laughs> Interesting talks. Now we are in the central or at the central station. Let's see what the night brings. Bicycles everywhere, guys. Okay. Show you. Oh, that you. So before, maybe. Full of bicycles. Beautiful over here. A lot of stuff going on still at this time. This uh, coldness. Eight o'clock. What is it now? We're gonna go and check out the bar now. So cold. And we leave. We go. Oh, it's cute. Oh, oh, the bicycles are. <laughs> With the bikes, I can see you have to be careful. Eh? It's close. <laughs> it's really the bicycle dominated city. Ah, here's the red. On that side, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> It's 20 to 12 and yeah, I am on the way since yesterday, 6 o'clock in the evening or something from Nairobi to Amsterdam uh, yeah, making the holiday day tourism to a few cafes and taking walks and then later to this audiovisual show then we were meeting some other friends in a bar and now my friends went to a club and I abandoned them because I'm completely KO, I'm tired. I'm gonna go to the hotel now and I will be happy to shower and go to bed. I hope you enjoyed watching guys. Uh, if so, then give me a thumb up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and keep the comment section busy. Thanks for watching.